Hello everyone, uh, good evening or good afternoon or good morning whenever you're watching this. I hope you're having a great day. It's Mr. Montgomery again. Today we are working on lesson 1-6 in our robot and turtle books. Now uh, yesterday we were comparing numbers to see which one had more. Today we're doing something very, very similar. But instead of saying more, we're going to say how many fewer someone might have. And I don't want you to get nervous by the change of the words. It's the exact same thing. By saying how much more does someone have, it's the same as saying how much fewer does someone else have. Let me show you. Uh, so make sure you're on page 25. I'm going to circle that right down here. We're on page 25 right now. If you need more time, pause the video, get to page 25. Uh, also, if you have uh, some crayons that you would like to use, go ahead and get some red and blue crayons. Uh, we're going to use them to help us draw our quick picture in this blue box here. So if you have your blue red and blue crayon and you're on page 25, we're going to get started. So we're going to read this, and we are going to stop every time we hear an important number. Amy has seven stickers. I heard a pretty important number, and it's seven. So I'm going to circle it. Tim has five stickers. I heard five. That's also pretty special. I'm going to circle it. Now I'm circling these numbers because this is the information they're giving us. So we're going to have to use these numbers. Okay, we are not going to ignore them. We have to use the number 7 and 5. So, uh, you know what? At the very bottom here, let's make a subtraction sentence. Make a space. We need our minus sign. We need another space. Our epic equal sign. And... Our answer goes at the very end. Now when we're subtracting, which number would have to go first? The 7 or the 5? Real quick, I want you to go ahead and write down the number you think that belongs. Did you write it down? Alright. And then next, Go ahead and write down the number that would go after the minus sign. Now remember, we're only using two numbers, 7 and 5. We have to use both of them. Which one goes first and which one goes second? Alright, did you do it? I really hope you did because uh, we learn by doing. It's sure we can learn by watching. But I promise you, you will learn much faster if you do it along with me. And uh, this might sound a little goofy, but every time I made a mistake when I was a kid, I would remember that even more. So if you make a mistake, don't worry about it. We can erase our mistake. So the first number we should write down is the 7. Because when we subtract, the big 7 would go first, because it's much bigger than a 5. Whatever the biggest number is, it has to go first. So, that means that the 5 would go second. Alright? And this goes for any numbers. It could be a 9 and a 2, a 3 and a 1. The big number would always have to go first. Uh, I was telling my class today that... I was calling this uh, first number the big monster number. It has to go first because it's huge and scary and uh, no one can ever get in front of it. So it's 7 minus 5 as uh, is our um, subtraction sentence so far. Now if you know how to do subtraction, that's awesome. But a lot of friends are having trouble with subtraction. So I thought we should make a very quick easy picture with our red and blue crayon. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick one color. And uh, this color is going to be for Amy. So she has seven stickers. I'm going to draw seven squares. One. 
two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now remember, these squares don't have to be perfect. Not perfect at all. If some look a little weird, don't worry about it. Okay, and next I'm going to use blue for the second number, which is for Tim. And he has five. So right below each, each square, we're going to draw another square until we get all the way to five. So we're going to count as we draw. One, two, three, four, and five. Five, I'm going to stop because I reached five stickers. And we're going to do exactly what we did yesterday. We're going to have them hold hands. And I'm going to use a goofy color for this. I'm going to use this uh, fun green right here. So every time we see a blue matched up with a red, we're going to draw a line going from one to the other. And they're going to hold hands. So red to blue, red to blue, red to blue, red to blue. So how many fewer blue ones do I have? And don't let the words <laughs> don't let the words confuse you guys. You just look at how many have left here. And this is going to be your answer. It's 2. There are two fewer blue stickers than red stickers. And then that's all there is to it. Don't overthink this, okay? Uh, I know a lot of friends tend to overthink things and they get very nervous about doing the math. Don't get nervous about it. If you make a mistake, we can just learn from our mistake. No worries. All right. So now let's go ahead to page 26. Just turn the page one time. Okay, here's page 26. You should be looking at some red and blue crayons and there's even a picture of some uh, purple and green grapes. All right, uh, I know, now I know that in your book, for number one right here, we have, or you guys have some dotted numbers that you can trace over. I erased mine so we can actually see what this problem should look like. So we're going to read through it, and we're going to practice circling the important numbers that they're giving us that we have to use. We are not ignoring them. We must use them. Juan has eight red crayons. The number eight is a very important. Sue has two blue crayons. That's also important. Now, which number should go first, eight or two? Well, the bigger one is eight. He's the big monster number. So he has to go first because everyone's too scared to get in front of him. And then we have our subtraction sign. Don't forget about that. And 2 has to go second. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing we did before. And we're going to have these crayons hold hands. Ready? Every time you see a blue, draw a line to a red. 1 and 2. Remember, they can only hold hands if they're different colors. That's it. They have to be different colors to hold hands. Now we're going to count all the red crayons that have no friends to hold hands with. We have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So eight minus two is six. So there are six fewer crayons. Okay? Now, for number two, I'm going to read through it with you and circle the important numbers, but I want you to write the subtraction sentence on your own. I want you to try it. We'll go over it together. Don't worry, but I really, really, really want you to try to do it on your own. So, Anne has four purple grapes. Four is pretty special because it's a number that they're telling us. Sam has seven green grapes. Got to circle seven. So these are the two numbers we must use, four and seven. How many fewer grapes? 
Remember, fewer means subtract. How many fewer grapes does Anne have than Sam? So go ahead and write a subtraction sentence right here to find out how many fewer grapes Anne has. All right, did you give it a try? If you're still working on it, hit that pause button for me. Pause the video, press the space bar, it'll pause the video for you. Then when you're ready, hit the space bar again and it will continue. All right, so if you're still watching, I'm guessing that you're ready to see if you got it correct. So let's check this out. Ann has four, Sam has seven. So when we are subtracting, the big number has to go first, which is 7. 7 goes first. Can't forget the minus sign. And then we put 4. That is the other number that they gave us. So 4 goes second. And we can't forget our, I call it the epic equal sign. I like my alliteration. Epic equal sign comes next. Because if you forget your equal sign, people are going to think you're going bananas. We don't want that. And now, we can use the picture to help us if we need to. If you know how to subtract already, well, you can go ahead and do it. If the picture helps, we're going to draw a line from every purple grape to a green grape. So one, two, three, and four. Now we're just going to count all the grapes that don't have a line going from purple to green. We have one, two, and three. So seven minus four is three. So we have three fewer grapes. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and try one more together on page 27. Okay, here is page 27 right here, and we're going to be working on this problem that has a whole bunch of apples. So I'm going to read it. We're going to circle the numbers together, but again, you're going to do this number sentence on your own. And remember, when we see this word fewer, that means subtracting. So we're subtracting. Don't forget that. Okay, let's uh, read this. Emma buys 10 red apples. 10 is pretty special. I'm going to circle it. She buys 5 green apples. Yep, going to circle that too. So there are the two numbers that we have to use. You must use them. Okay? Now, how many fewer green apples than red apples does Emma have? Or does Emma buy? So I want you to go ahead and write your subtraction sentence and solve it. Use the picture to help you if you need it. All right, did you give it a try? If you're still working on it, that's okay. Make sure you pause the video and then hit play whenever you're ready. So if you're still watching the video, I'm guessing you are all done and you want to check your work. Okay, so when we are subtracting, right? We need a subtraction sign in this little bubble. What number goes first? The big 10 or the little five? The big monster 10. Because it's huge, he's ginormous, and everyone else is scared of him. They won't get in front of him. So if we already used 10, put a little check mark, check, we used it. What comes next? We need to put that 5 in. So now we know that we're taking 5 away from 10. 
Now, if you need the picture to help you, oh, almost forgot, we need our epic equal sign. Okay, so now we have to make sure we draw a line from every green apple to every red apple. One, did that one, that one, this one, and this one. And all we have to do now is just count all the red apples that don't have a line going from a red to a green. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. So we 10 minus five equals five. So that means we have five fewer apples. That's all. All right, so I want you to try number four and five on your own. I'm gonna read number four. Uh, for you, and I'll also read number five. And um, yeah, you know, before I forget, for number five, scribble out this uh, addition part. We're not going to worry about that right now. Okay, so uh, let's read number four. Beth writes on three cards. Joe writes on nine cards. How many fewer cards does Beth write on than Joe? So remember, fewer special word. Okay, and for number five, there are fewer white kites than blue kites. Write the two equations. So, okay, I've got to get rid of this part there, too. So, they don't give you the numbers. They want you to count the kites and then have them hold hands and then tell how many fewer that they have. Okay, so try number four and five on your own. Uh, if you still need help and you're in my classroom, please let me know. If you're in another classroom and you're watching this and you're still just confused, that's okay. Make sure you let your teacher know. Raise your hand and say, excuse me, I don't, I still don't understand this. And that's okay. Sometimes we just need a little bit more time. Um, but I'm really hoping that this was help, helpful for you guys. And uh, I'll see you again next time, all right? Have a great day.